Hello and welcome to a Let's Build. So today I'm going to be doing a lighthouse. And I know it's a weird one to just come out of the blue with, but I was building in my own world. And I actually spawned the world that was just full of sand. And after building a couple of houses I thought, you know what, a lighthouse. It was the only thing that could really come to mind. And I was really happy with uh, how it looked in the end. Now, I can't guarantee it's going to turn out exactly the same way. Um, because obviously I didn't want to build it in the same place or I'd be going back and forth but uh, the basic steps for it I'm going to use cobblestone first and I'll place somewhere roughly in the middle one, two, three, four, five, six then I'm going to come across one, two, three, four, five, six and now basically I'm going to need to come out of it can use this moss stone, which really shows that it would be in the water. So you do two, three, five, six. And basically, we're just going to make a. This isn't a perfect circle. If you wanted a perfect circle, I mean, that's how I originally started mine, um, and then I turned the, the sort of outside of the circle to stairs, and ended up doing it in this pattern anyway. Um, which is what I would normally actually do. So, same again. We keep coming out. We're going to do this. Uh, one, two. Let's make sure I don't go too far. So I've got one, two, three. do the same again over here and obviously your footing would actually be this shape um, so what about one two three Side of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, and six. So that's our basic shape. Um, I'm not going to go uh, basically to all the floor at the moment, and I'm not going to add an extra layer. I'm just going to fill in this part, and basically you guys would uh, fill all of yours in at this stage. So I'm just going to go ahead. So this will be floor level, and basically I'm going to leave, uh, what have we got, one, two, three, four, on one side, and I'm going to build it across like that, leaving two in the middle. So now I'm going to change over to my quartz. Now on mine I'm actually building in a different texture pack. It doesn't really make a difference. Basically, we're going to go on around the outside. Now, guys, you could use the white wall and the red wall, um, but I'm actually using the quartz, um, mainly because the stairs are available and the slabs with the uh, quartz. Um, and then I'm using the red clay then as well, but obviously the wall will work just as well. So we can do this for... Uh, at the bottom where the stone is, if you don't want it to be that sort of rugged edge, you can always go around the outside with your cobblestone on the top layers. So if we start, say, from here, I'm just going to do this quickly. Turn him around. And you'll find this is the actual shape. Or how it should have actually been shaped. This was the actual... Uh, 
sort of size I was actually going for and then I added the steps afterwards um, just purely because I didn't like the way it was sort of sitting in and then under that so anywhere from there because it would show that the water's getting to it I could then have my mossy stone underneath so it's like it will come out to there just to really you know it's just something that's there you don't have to do it in fact you don't really even have to bother with the uh, the rock at all um, but for me, it seemed like the right thing to do. So I've just stuck with it. Oh, yep, that's what I was. <laughs> Talking halfway through. So we're just going to carry on layering up. this up as well. Do we want another one? So I'm gonna oh now put in a quartz stair upside down. And then go to a slab. Fill in that gap there. So you've got your walking way just there. Um, I'm then going to go on top of this. Um, let me just do this first. So with my red, I'm stepping in one. Now you can do it like this, uh, stepping in every time, rather than keep doing it. But you can obviously knock these away if you want to retain a bit more room inside. Uh, because obviously you are going to be further and further into your build, which is why it's so important to actually have a big enough space to do this. Now, I could carry on building this up if I wanted to. But obviously it'll go all the way now. And then I'm just going to this is what I've done anyway, um, put stairs there on all of the, the faces with the six and then use my cross slabs across the tops of the corners and pieces just to really give it a, a look that it is actually sinking into itself. Hello Aerial Power! Is it uh, really bad or I think my mic is really bad. Give me two seconds. Is that any better? I'm hoping so because that's the only options I can use um, while doing this at the moment. So I'm just going to carry on building up my layers uh, with my red clay. So guys if you are struggling to hear me I am really sorry. Um, I'm having to use Twitch at the broadcast and I'm really not getting a lot of options uh, for volume and sound so I've turned off the uh, the game volume but it is still pretty bad on the mic at the moment Oops. so I've left a gap or two there I'm gonna follow it up 
and one last one across the top and so it's just a, a quick window there obviously put them in as you feel but only put it in on that side I'm just going to chuck in a quick couple of tiles there. Um, I think I'm just going to use yellow stained glass just because it stands out a little bit more. And on top of these ones, I'm going to go with uh, a quick slab. Oh, I can do stairs on them ones actually. And while doing that, I want to step in again. my full quartz block, stepping in, going up another layer, Using our stairs like last time, just really to sort of let it filter in to the layers itself. Obviously, it's optional, and the more distance, uh, it still looks pretty much the same anyway. But uh, for me, I just prefer to do it this way. So we're going to go, how many more are we looking? So we're going to go four white. So we'll go up another three layers on this. Oop. Get them out of there. Now we're just layering over the top of where we've already been doing it for another. Three layers, uh, another two layers after this one. Oop. It's actually surprising how big this build actually ends up being. What am I playing at? Fold them ones fair play. Then the, the pack I'm actually using on my world is um, a natural pack. Uh, it is good to play around with the packs, it makes a hell of a difference uh, to some builds. Wouldn't recommend certain packs because uh, they seem to forget certain colours. Um, when you're building houses and that, they're just really not too good for you. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four there. Uh, we've got one red on top. And then start the process of burying it in on itself once again. So we're trying to use the colours to sort of um, set the tone on it. I don't know if you could actually see it yet. we do this last... Uh, do another one going in first. Ooh. We'll have a look if we can already see how well it's actually tying itself in. I don't know what actually made me do this. I am. Um, 
sort of playing on my own. I was looking for different ideas to build. I was actually re looking for new houses, uh, house designs online and stuff like that. I sort of thought to myself, I've got a beach. Uh, I've just built myself a beach house. I sort of thought there's only really one thing you can do with a beach and that's make boats. And then I just thought we could actually do a nice lighthouse. And it's a, a little bit different. And it's always nice to have something different. So here we go, we got our three red on top. Now if I go down a bit. start noticing we will get a bit higher now so um, we're going to add another block of quartz on this one and then we're going to add a half on top as well so after this layer we start stepping in once again but once we step in we then use our half slab and our stairs once again so on this one we're going to step in pull it round line myself up uh, now it is a lot of work pulling it in and out and I am sorry I can't edit it so I'm just sort of uh, finishing each layer at a time showing you just the, each layer going up um, because it is a lot of doing the same thing but uh, you can carry on layering that up actually just got to remember to put our halves down. Now it's kind of down to preference whether you want to use the halves or even if you want to use the stairs uh, like I have. I just use them purely because I, I prefer it to sort of, instead of using a full block to sort of tie itself in, uh, sometimes it's nice to sort of tie it in over a half, uh, making the slope look a little less, uh, a little bit more gradual. Or at least that's what I was hoping for when I used it. Uh, and obviously I stuck with it now. Because I've already built it that way already. Uh, and I thought it looked pretty good. So putting that slab down. Oh. And obviously these corners, you don't have to do it with these corners like that. I've just done it really to sort of follow the pattern round, even though it isn't quite doing that yet. Um, but obviously you could just put the stairs on flat. But I thought it would be better to do that. And at the same time you could just use half slab as well. It just really doesn't matter in all fairness. So where are we to now? We're one, two, three up. So we're going to have to step in on this one with a red so we've got one two three and four so basically i'm stepping up every every four we start changing our colors a little so we've got one two three uh oh don't need that yet so we're gonna go one on top oh missing my blocks so we'll do it like that um, and then after this layer, start stepping in again for the other three of the four. I'm actually getting uh, quite a bit higher now, so um, we should be coming to a bit more of an end. Obviously, it's down to yourselves how high you want to go. Um, because the higher, the better. And obviously, the rounder it is and the bigger in uh, diameter will obviously make a huge difference. Uh, the bigger you go, the more accurate you can actually get. Um, but I try to be fair with myself. Uh, sometimes you'll find yourself building something so big, um, it kind of takes days, and then you miss one day, come back to it, and you, you seem to sort of forget what you was actually doing, or if you haven't forgotten, uh, you're not really interested in doing it anymore. <laughs> it does happen. So we're, we're getting a lot further up now. And I think... Yeah, I think we'll go for another. Well, we've got 
one more here, one more red. Uh, and obviously you can put in the, the windows where you want. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick to the yellow, uh, but what I've done was I used the yellow to create the light on top. Obviously if you've got glowstone then put it inside the yellow light, uh, the yellow glass. Makes it glow out that little bit brighter. So how many rows we got? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got... So, yep, I think that's about right. We're going to switch over to a white block, do one on top, and then a half on top of that again. Um, and the only reason I do it with a white every so often is, like I say, the gradual decrease um, on how it looks. For me, it just felt a little better. So, like, now we're using the one slab there. Uh, we'll turn this in. Turn that one in. And instead of sort of like just disappearing by a full block, uh, you dis you know you're sort of gradually doing it over half a block. I know it doesn't make a massive difference, but um, when I'm building, I tend to just really try and play about with materials uh, and try and make sure that I'm happy with it when I stand back and look at it because um, you know oh, done it again. There we go. So now we're just stepping in on the inside. And as you can see we're now slowly losing these corners. And obviously eventually we go up one more layer, we no longer have a corner anymore. Okay that's freaky. Where have I gone a little different? So something I've done here, I've just made it uneven for myself, and I, you know, straight away, it's there. I can see it. Joe, I'm so glad I spotted that before the end of the video. There we go. And the reason I'm glad I spotted it is because so many times I've actually done stuff like this, not realised where it's all gone wrong, and not been able to correct it for the actual video, which is really weird. Um, and now I'm trying to work out, have I actually now fixed that? I'm hoping so. So one, two, and then we come up to a white, um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I have no idea how I managed to do that all the way up without even realising. Um, I'm actually trying to make it as quick as possible as well, um, which probably isn't a massive help to myself. Um, but because it's such a big build, when I was doing it the first time, obviously it doesn't go together as quick as you want it to. Um, I'm now trying to work out what I've exactly done here. So I've gone one, two, all the way up. And that would be one and I think I may have damaged myself here as well like I have so how many have I gone and done the wrong way oh how bad so all of this needs to be moved up and out so guys I'm not gonna sit here and do it in uh, front of you so much uh, I'm just gonna work out where I am on that side Frank Thankfully it is only one side, or at least I think it's only one side. Let me just make sure. One, two, yeah, one, two. No, I, have, I think I have done it on this side as well. Oh man, that is nasty. Where did I go wrong on this side? Quite important. One, two. Yeah, so 
that one wouldn't be there because it's there, so that would be one, two, there. And then this one would be moved in. No, it would still have to come out one. So it would be one, two, that one would be gone too. Do you know what? It's fine. We got this far without it. I'm just going to go straight up and carry on. You will know exactly what I've done. Um, like I say, I've messed up a little touch here. And looking at it, there should only be one on every corner. So it's not literally this one that's messed up. Um, it's literally, where would we be looking? One, two, and then there should be one there. One there, and I don't know how I've done that, so I'm just gonna have to leave it in for now, uh, just so I can finish the build and not make it too massive uh, for you guys actually building it. So we do it like that. Uh, for some reason, we <laughs> we have gained the corner, which is utterly weird. So basically, that would actually be there. This one would be here. And I have no idea how it's worked out, but I've, I seem to have come out twice now. Uh, it's because I was repairing myself there, so I'll just take that off for now so you guys know exactly where it should be. So I'm literally going to come all the way around. So I seem to have added one here. Boom. Boom. But it's going to have to stay for now because I've gone too far with the build to actually correct that. So basically, you understand what I mean anyway. I've gone up this high. It's uh, what is it? One, two, three with white. And I would have had the one white there, one white there. So that's one, two. The last one on top. One more red. And that is actually right because it would be there and this one should be in one more. So yeah, that's cool. So we turn over to red. We do this now for four layers and then we're going to start pulling our lighthouse back out. So sorry guys if you have, uh, I'm guessing you probably haven't actually made that mistake because uh, of what I was saying, as long as you follow the rule of six all the way around and then step it in one at a time and hopefully don't get confused like I have. Um, I'm really sorry for that. But uh, it does happen, that is Minecraft, and you can either crack on or go through the process of pulling it down. Uh, pulling it down isn't an option anymore. So basically you can tell now that we've actually got pretty high and the reason we go up this high is because we still want this one to come all the way across. So we've got our last window to put in on the very top. And we put one, two, three, four, and our slab to make it happen. And basically, you can use any color now. So I'm just going to place one like so. And then I'm going to switch to my stair, which will be upside down. And you're going to be doing it on no matter how it goes. Uh, obviously, for me, I've got an extra corner there, so that's uh, not a massive improvement. But basically, you want it to travel all the way around, pulling it all the way around like so, making sure they all tie into each other so that they all sit together. So now I put one there, and then oh, and then one there. And that'll be our first layer. And then we want to start putting a block. That'll be our second layer. And we can obviously start putting in the corner pieces now. Uh, because we've got to start stepping it out one at a time. So, in effect, you would now put in a corner slab in each of those to make it look more corner friendly and 
if you wanted to you could still use the stairs uh, to keep stepping it out gradually but basically we're going to go up um, about six layers so we got one two and we still want four so we're going to go on top I <laughs> we want four yeah so we've got one two and we still want four more layers so just step it all the way around except on this one it would be in the corner but uh, because obviously I've done that with my corner it really hasn't helped me out so we'd be stepping out in that fashion like so keeping the corners intact um, but it really doesn't matter too much let me take that away sorry so there we go and basically if you didn't mess up down there you'll have like this corner going on no matter what you're doing and at this time if I hadn't have explained that I've messed up you may be looking at it thinking what have I done but uh, it's not you it is actually me so as you can see like there we can now use these slabs if we just want to even it out a bit and um, just to give it a gradual build or like I've used there the stairs and you just got to drag it in so it gives more of a gradual feel to the fact of it going out so we've got one two and three so we've got three more layers to do so I'm just gonna hurry along pull these out and obviously build on the inside when you're doing this but be warned that that probably is what tripped me up in the first place and it does happen a lot more often than I care to admit it's just one of them things uh, when you're trying to do these different shapes you're still looking at the squares in front of you <laughs> so we're just going to keep doing this so we're now at one two three four um, and as before we're now going to step out that'll be five Now what I've done on mine was actually for the last two layers, um, really, even for this layer, uh, I used a slab instead. Now I haven't used that this time because I'm trying to get the video done in a sort of timely fashion. So we can keep it all as one part and I don't have to sort of keep going on to Twitch to do more and more. Um, but let's just take a look. Let's just stand over here. You can see now, and it, the only reason we want a good space on top is really, um, so say we use this now, we use a slab instead. So we're coming out on all the corners, like so. And we've still got to use, um, we've still got to go up another half a slab um, because obviously we want to build on top. it's just a way of doing it in a layer it doesn't take up a full block um, in this case a full block is handy um, because it is a lighthouse it's got to be tall if it isn't tall it isn't going to look like it should oh, I'm really annoyed at myself with that corner I'm really annoyed <laughs> Uh, it does happen like there I built outwards instead of inwards and that is literally what's happened somewhere down through this build I've done it so many times and yet I obviously haven't learned a lesson so this time now what we're going to do is we're going to start dragging this all the way across but we're going to leave the middle open so we can build stairs to go up to this layer um, because obviously being this layer you're going to want to have um, like a little bit of a walkway on top um, it's just really about trying to keep it looking nice I can't believe I've just added an extra block again oh no that was my plan originally <laughs> there we go so we're... I'll do the outside first just so I don't confuse myself any more than I already have and I've just done it again look at me there we go yeah perfect yeah I really hate building outwards it's really horrible when you're building inwards it, it's difficult but um, 
when I say difficult, it is, it's not difficult, you just, it's just horrible trying to keep an eye on what you're doing, and it really doesn't make things easy. <laughs> so there we go. So now it's just a case of dragging all of this backwards. Right, let me just make sure of where I am here. So I've come out one, and I don't need that one. Now it's a case of dragging backwards from here. And we're only doing this so our walkway on top is actually, we can actually put a fence on it. And then we come out one more, leaving the edges. And now we already know, we've already done this part, so we just it's just a case of pulling backwards leaving our middle four, one, two, three, four, leaving the four in the very middle um, empty, uh, like squared in the middle, if you get what I mean. So basically we we just have this little bit that we can sort of come up into, um, so we can walk underneath it, but not actually into the light itself, if that makes sense. So we just do it like so. Now I am sorry guys that I can't edit this out, it is really annoying that uh, there is no shortcut anymore, um, which is both good and bad, you know, it's, uh, it does you favours and it doesn't do you favours. It's better because I can talk to you at the same time when my mic is on level, um, and at worst I can't make things shorter than what they actually are, um, because I have no editor at the moment, no use of anything that will actually help me. So it's just purely having to get on with it the way it is. So there we go. We and if we just want to finish off here, we can put our fence in already. Uh, just to really show you. And now in my luck, I've probably now got like, an extra platform on one part because of that corner. Just be careful when you are building up not to build outwards. Uh, it really does uh, mess you over when you end up with them sort of corners. It doesn't make a massive difference to the build, it still looks the same. It's more the fact that you know it's not even. Like I've, I've done it with the Mickey Mouse head as well, <laughs> and uh, I didn't notice for months until I watched my video back um, a while ago, thinking, like, I wonder what's actually why it's not looking so even and then it just hit me all of a sudden that okay I messed up <laughs> so one two three four five oh one two three four five and that's probably where I've got the extra corner of I realistically probably yes so I'm gonna move over how far are we away two on that one so one two Make sure we leave enough room. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So yeah, obviously I have done myself the extra corner over here. So we're gonna do the same here. One, two, place one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is all because of that corner now. What a letdown. One, two, three, four, five, six. And although it's annoying, it 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 won't actually sort of damage the building anyway, it's just the case that I know it's there, and so does everyone else. <laughs> so look, you end up with a one, two, three, oh, over it is. One, two, three. Okay, it's actually gone in perfectly well, which is kind of weird. But one of these must be uneven. Or I've counted wrong. But anyway, we get the drift. One, two, three, four. And this time we want to put a door in up here as well. Um, and obviously it's up to you then, whether you want to build like a layer, uh, whether you want to put stairs in, or whether you're just going to put ladders in. Because it is, you know, it's not exactly a small build. And if you're going to put in, go through the effort of doing a lot of stairs, um, it really is going to take it to the extreme. Like, you know, it is going to take a lot of effort. 
Uh, I do know because at the moment I'm trying to put in some, uh, not spiraling stairs, but the sort that sort of, they drop past each other as they go up levels. Uh, you know, one side is gradually lifting, the other side is dropping. So that's one, two, three. Uh, one, fourth layer again. And then I just want to check it from a distance just to see what it looks like, just in case we need any more layers. This makes a great lamb, landmark piece. So I'm just going to so drop far enough away. If we were looking from here. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we could add in an extra layer just to be on the real safe side. Um, or you could even swap over to like a white. Um, but for me personally, now bearing in mind that when you go over to this uh, glass, you realistically you're going to want to be sort of leveling this off and then putting like a bunch of glowstone or something like that. Um, basically for now we're just going to build onto this level straight away. So you end up with something like so. And I think we're going to take this up. Um, I think we do it two layers. Uh, I think we just do the two layers first and see how it looks. Uh, because it's got to be big enough to be uh, seen from a distance as well. And then we just want to. I think we're going to take it up the three. And then we're slowly going to start pulling itself in. So we've now got three layers of this. Uh, our glass and obviously you don't have to use yellow um, I haven't actually put glowstone in mine yet but I thought it would sort of act nice with the glowstone uh, more of a window sort of look and bearing in mind every time we do this on this one we're going to be building inwards so like so hopefully no accidents like before earlier where you end up building outwards and adding the block uh, it does happen and like I say it won't ruin your build and you probably won't even notice but when you do it will then stick in your mind and you know <laughs> so there we go and by putting that one on the inside we've already got our inside pieces so we now oh and that's how it happens There you go, you start to see like the dome look on it. Um, now we can step it in another one straight away or you can step it up uh, like two layers. Um, but once really you start sort of moving in every layer, you've really got to sort of keep to that amount of layers before you start moving in. Um, reason being, oh, you've got to be going lower. But obviously because I've just done one layer and then one layer going in, uh, there is no lower than that. So we just got to sort of keep it up. Uh, so how is that? That is not looking too bad. So we just have a look from a distance. Can we make sure we see all the glass from the top? Yep. And now it's all about just sealing it off. Uh, and I'm going to use a quartz slab. And basically, we're going to be stepping in because it is literally as square as it's going to get. So we're just going to do this. Um, do we want to go that one? Yep. So, like so. I will put the edges on actually. Um, and then we're just going to step in, pull it all around again. So what we've got, we've got six in the middle. We could basically just use a stair, like so. Just to really cap it off. Um, I've never really tried, I've not tried glowstone in this, <laughs> so it might, you know, hopefully it'll look. I'm just going to layer it underneath rather than in the actual glass itself. 
Um, but obviously, the idea for like a lens in this, if you've seen my Paw Patrol build, um, the telescope on top would make the perfect lens for this to have a plenty of light. Um, and like I say, where we've left the middle here, if you're planning on doing the inside, um, just build all the way around and block in that that space. So in effect, you could say build block in all of this part and then have stairs going up. And then obviously where this window is, you could have a layer here where you could step out and just walk around. Or you could just do, you know, straight up with the stairs. Um, but basically you just want to try and cut in all of these little corners that are left off um, purely because you don't want it to look unneat. And when you do the inside, I would personally use the the stone, just purely because I think it looks, you know, more sort of water battered. But that is our lighthouse. Um, I know <laughs> I am sorry I messed up on this little corner over here. That really annoyed me more than I could uh, explain. And there's another piece there. That's why. So, boom. And there it is. So I would have messed up on all of these parts. Oh man, that's so annoying. And that is where my level is. That's where it should be anyway. But uh, not to worry, it is done. Like I say, it is. I can just follow this up myself and it will fix quite easily. Um, because once I follow this up, obviously I've got my white ones back on track. In fact, just because it's annoying me, knowing that it is that way, I'm just going to build it up anyway. So I know that it's actually then fixed. And obviously I need some blocks in on these ones. And then use my half slabs there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then our reds. And our reds there. But uh, yeah, you basically see where I went wrong. I've sort of just slanted off my whole build. Completely by accident, of course. <laughs> but that is Minecraft. It does happen. And I really hate it when it does, fair play. And now, obviously, we've got... These ones will actually be here, here, and here. And obviously, we'd have a stair there. And there's our extra one I was looking for. Uh, that's Minecraft, you know what it's like. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the build. I'm sorry about that little mishap there. Um, hopefully that won't be happening too much. Like I say, at the bottoms, if you wanted to, you could use the stairs just to really sort of bring it together. Uh, I, like I say, I use this stone uh, any further than ground level. And that's purely because it. I was thinking of a lighthouse on the floor. And I just wanted it to look a little bit battered. You know, if it's there, use it. If it isn't, who cares? I mean, other lighthouses are just straight on grass on top of a cliff. So it, it really is, you know, it's down to yourselves how you really want it yourself. Um, for me, this was what worked better. Um, it's how I wanted it to look. And uh, quite honestly, I'm surprised we've done the video so quick um, because it took me hours to really get to grips with this but I was sort of building and unbuilding and then going up in layers I started off as a perfect circle and what do you know it didn't end up a perfect circle <laughs> but basically that's what I do all the way around just to give it that sort of look that is slanted kind of like the tops um, and obviously on the very top door as well if you wanted to sort of put in yourself a bit of rock behind you'd open it out like the extra two and then place the rock behind um, but personally on the top it should be looking pretty good anyway uh, so, so there you go guys that is my version of a lighthouse and I hope you get some use out of it and enjoy building it um, like I say I'm sorry about the mishap and I will be doing a few more random builds like this uh, just purely because I'm building up my own world uh, and basically I think I'm just going to be building random stuff like from this design I sort of had an idea for a castle uh, with the pillars um, there's, there's so many things every time you do one design you basically find yourself looking at plenty of other things that you couldn't do before and then you look at them and think actually 
that design's going to work there. So anyway guys, I could babble on all night, but uh, I'm going to try not to. That is the end of the video, and thanks for watching. I shall see you soon with another random build.